Hi everyone, I got an update for you on ChatGPT in medical industry. And if you see my screen here now, I have a document, a PDF from Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory and which, which is from Merig and BMJ. And this is telling you about the performance of ChatGPT on USMLE. So what's USMLE? It is United States Medical Licensing Exam. So this ChatGPT has been evaluated. They evaluated the performance of ChatGPT in this examination, a medical licensing examination. And this medical licensing examination has three steps. One is step one here, which is step one, step two, and step three. So it seems there are three exams in United States medical licensing exam. And ChatGPT has passed all the three exams without any specialized training or reinforcement. They didn't even have to train much, it seems. Without training or without more providing more data, it passed the exam. And this exam, this exam, the United States medical licensing exam, it seems it's for the four years people. So they gave us the whole story of how this exam is conducted and, and what is the eligibility criteria for these people. So I'll go through this document with you. I'll give you this document in the description also. So the bottom line is it passed the medical exam. ChatGPT passed the medical exam. Now, we talked about last time when we are using ChatGPT, maybe in future, it may become Jarvis, the bot, or it may become Chitti, the robo, or humanoid robo, right? We were talking about this, this in the last videos. Now, this is proving that ChatGPT can be a Jarvis or can be Chitti the robo who can who pass the test without even giving some reinforcement or any specialized training. So they gave us a small introduction of it and it seems they tested this chat GPT on order data sets they have and of course we all know it's powered up by 3.5 right and also we know it's from 175 billion parameters is giving you about what exactly is chat gpt and is also giving you about what exists step one step two step three exams so in this step one of this usmle exam the step one exam is typically by medical students who have completed two years of didactic and problem-based learning meaning minimum 300 hours of dedicated study time. So which means step one should be returned or can be returned by a two year student, medical students. Then step two, step two or step two CK is written by the fourth year medical student who have additionally completed 1.5 years of clinical rotation, meaning clinical reasoning. So, you have to complete two years and then again another two years then again a 1.2 or one meaning total six years to write this exam and then step three is taken by whom by physicians who generally have completed at least a year pg in medical education meaning a six year students who can write this exam step one step two step three now it has been written by chat gpt it seems and you know what what happened what happened and before that what happened 
what are these equations made up of is also giving you all these are textually conceptually dense and could contain multimodal clinical data meaning he's he's giving all the lab study result history everything now what happened what are the input sources have been given or what data has been given to chat gpt they only gave 376 publicly available test questions and that too from 2022 june only and which is from the usmle website meaning they only give this particular 376 test questions only now this guy got trained up with these questions and he answered it and he answered it so what's the answer or what's the uh, frame of these questions there are three types of questions it seems one is open-ended oe format one is multiple choice single answer without force justification and the other one is multiple choice single answer with force justification now this has been given to chat gpt and he gave you the whole result how chat gpt performed and what are the results of step one step two step three and it's all 68 62 it's all about 60 60 60 step one step two see the accuracy now step one step two and step three was 55 59 and 60 later on they had again then 62 51 64 then again then again so slowly slowly they have done 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 and finally the conclusion is it raised that accuracy point and and see here the most recent iteration of gpt3 46 percent accuracy with zero prompting they never even prompted anything last time and after so many iterations and everything in this present study gpt performed greater than 50 percent across all examinations exceeding 60 percent in most analysis what's the passing mark us mle pass threshold while varying year by year is approximately how much 60 percent so that 60 percent chat gpt is now comfortably within the passing range so no wonder this is going to hit the market like crazy in every industry it can be a lawyer who knows in future chat gpt can answer uh, law questions or can be a lawyer in front of the judge because if a voice control has been given to chat gpt and if chat gpt program can answer some questions call, can listen to some questions and thereby answer he can be a lawyer now he is a doctor he passed the exam so slowly slowly in future completely is ai 2023 it's all about ai not just chat gpt there are many tools around so it's going to be ai driven 2023 who knows later on this may be the uh, uh, the one who is uh, uh, is going to be, uh, become the whole world's favorite whole world's favorite abomination of desolation also who knows in the bible we don't know we are seeing all this developing 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 sounds good and sounds crazy also right and so everything is taken by ai everything is taken by chat gpt but of course don't worry chat gpt will not replace you but a person who knows ai will replace you so now are you the person who knows ai in this 2023 you have to decide so if you like this video smash the like button and subscribe for more and more interesting videos i see you in the next video thank you